More Grosslatsk are in and I thought, oh, you know, another Conservative government. But you also thought maybe it'll be a bit, bit different because she's a woman. <laughs> How wrong can you be? My dad was on the docks, he was a docker, and most people in the city or where I lived, everything revolved around shipping. The port, it was the lifeblood of the city. Everyone depended on it. But we're coming slowly, painfully. Margaret Thatcher got rid of all the industry. She kicked the life out of working people because there was no work there and people want to work. There was a fear. It, it's frightening when you think, you know, you're not going to be able to earn a living when you've always done so. Liverpool's a very political city. Um, here, you're taught to read between the lines before you're taught to read. She made people very angry over the poll tax and um, there was a huge response here. And people didn't pay it and people were taken to court. Uh, you'd never been to court before. and. My husband went and um, when we came home, the neighbours opposite, the kids had made a post, a placard, uh, free Charlie McNally. <laughs> we shall not be diverted from our course. Margaret Thatcher said, there's no such thing as society. Everyone is responsible for themselves. No one is responsible for anybody else, which is totally alien to the way I was brought up. You know, don't get me wrong, it wasn't all this... Walton's thing, the people you didn't like and all the rest of it, but none of that mattered, you looked after people. Let us ignore the howls and threats of the... There was enemy. this legacy of Thatcher's children, um, and they, they thought, oh, you know, you've got to do it for yourself and all this sort of thing. The younger ones are realising that we do have to um, all work together. Margaret Thatcher has got a lot to answer for, and I don't hate anybody. She's left her mark on an era, not a good one.